right, welcome to our Friday. We have people on ground finally, yay. So to those of you who are virtual, it's time for you to get settled onto the mat. Place a pillow behind your head, perhaps a bolster or pillows behind the knees. Take a couple of deep breaths. If you have an eye pillow, place it over the eye to deter any external stimuli. Just focusing inward now. As you lay there, take a couple of deep, slow breaths. And let's begin progressive muscle relaxation. Let's start with the feet. So at this point, go ahead and point and flex the toes. Point and flex, wiggle those toes. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, let it go. Relax the feet. And now bring your attention to the lower legs knees and thighs. Squeeze the muscles tight. Take a deep inhalation. And on the exhale, relax the muscles of the lower legs and thighs. Now bring the awareness to the hips. Squeeze the glutes, tighten the buttocks, perhaps lift it up slightly off the mat if you can. Deep breath, exhale, relax the hips. Let the muscles melt into the ground. Now bring your attention to the belly breath. Take a deep breath and hold it just in the belly like an inflated balloon. And now open the mouth, big sigh, let it out. And now take your breath and bring it up into the chest and rib cage and hold, big sigh, let it out. Now take the deepest breath that you can take. Belly, chest, rib cage, all the way up to the collarbone. Hold, big sigh, let it out. Bring your awareness to the hands and lift the hands up slightly off the mat. Squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Let go of the hands, let them melt into the ground. Come to the shoulders and lift the shoulders up towards the ears, deep inhalation. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Allow the shoulders to melt into the ground. Come to the facial muscles. Squeeze and squint the face tight. Now stretch the face, open the mouth and relax. tend to hold tension in our face. So focus on letting go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Letting go of the tongue from the roof of the mouth. 
Allowing your eyes to just relax and sink into the eye sockets. Letting go of any tension in the forehead or the scalp. And now begin to scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathe into that joint space or muscle that creates tension. And on the exhale, letting go of the tension. Breathe in relaxation. Exhale out tension. Breathe in that positive energy, focusing on clarity and peace on the inhale and focusing on exhaling out any discord, whether it's pain, fear, confusion. Breathe in peace and clarity. Exhale out all negative thoughts and feelings. And as you do so, your mind may be coming up with little thoughts that distract you. Perhaps thoughts of past occurrences. Perhaps future worries or to-do lists. Realize that these are just neural pathways. They are not who you truly are. You do not own these thoughts. They do not own you. So remove yourself and see yourself as a witness to these neural firings. That's all they are, chemical reactions in your brain. And with each thought that comes in, see it as a cloud. Now take a deep inhalation and on the exhale, blow out and see that little cloud float away. Keep going. And as you begin to clear the mind of all distractions, you come to the awareness that your true self your consciousness is pure energy. It is that little light of yours. Deep within you, it is the soul. Awaken the soul. It is the energy that animates the body in this lifetime. See your soul as a beautiful white light from the center of your heart, pulsating energy out like the stars of the universe, sending out the message. In this case, the light of divinity, the light of source energy is within you. See it spread out across all four chambers of your heart, across the lungs, to the shoulders, arms, forearms. See that light spread across to the wrists, the palms, and the fingertips. The light transmutes and transforms all imbalances back to balance, all disease 
back to health. See that light now ascending up the spinal cord, reaching the brain and all the neurons receiving this light, transforming negative habits, negative thoughts, neural pathways that no longer serve for your highest good. The light transmutes and transforms so that your thoughts are calm and clear, peaceful. See that light descend down the spinal cord across all the spinal nerves, reaching all the tissues and organs and organ systems of all parts of your body. And as you are filled with this white light, you simply identify as the soul. As you remove the layers that have created the tension, having let go of the physical body, having let go of the emotions, you are now simply pure energy, the light of your soul. As we progress in our guided journey, we call upon our guides, our ancestors, the archangels, and whoever you wish to call upon at this time for healing, for guidance, for protection. To the north, Archangel Uriel, heal, guide, and protect. Welcome. To the east, Archangel Raphael, you are the healer heal, balance, and protect. Welcome. To the south, Archangel Michael, with your cord and your sword, cut the cords that bind us from past pain, people, places, and thoughts that no longer serve for our highest good. With your sword, cut the cords now. To all who are listening, heal, balance, and protect. Welcome. To the west, the messenger, Archangel Gabriel. Heal, balance, protect. And give us the gift of intuition so that we may know intuitively the messages that are for our highest good and protect us from discord and confusion. We call upon source energy in all the names and forms of all cultures and religions from Yahweh to Adonai we call upon all the prophets and healers that came before us. From Krishna to Buddha to Yeshua, Jesus, the master healer. We call upon that Holy Spirit, the energy that pervades the universe and animates all that is in the creation. We call upon the feminine element, Sophia, call upon the mother of God, Theotokos, Mary, as known in the West. And finally, we call upon the master healer of Reiki, the founder of energy healing. From the East, from Japan, 
Master Mikao Usui. And you may call upon any guide that you prefer based on your belief system at this time for healing and transformation. May it be so and so it is. Our guided journey today is clearing your energy. If you're dealing with uncomfortable feelings or have been plagued by thought processes that you just can't seem to let go of, or you feel that other people's negativity seems to get stuck to you, making you feel yucky. The process of clearing your energy can wipe away all the feelings and give you a fresh outlook, allowing you to be yourself again. This guided meditation teaches you how to clear yourself. It takes patience and practice like anything else, it is a learned skill, a very valuable skill. And once you have it, you will use it yourself on your own very frequently. As the angels surround you and guides protect you, take a slow, deep breath now letting go of any remaining tension that you may have. Now imagine that all the energy that you have sent out into the world over the last few days and weeks is gently coming back to you. Just like the last parts of a puzzle coming into place. And as your energy returns, you begin to feel more and more like yourself. Imagine a column of golden white light. It is now streaming down from the highest heavens surrounding, filling, and protecting you. It is now going deep down into the earth, all the way down to the earth's core. This light is here to facilitate your clearing at the deepest level. This deepest level of your existence down to your core soul healing. And it will allow anything you might release to be transmuted into love. Feel and visualize the light as it penetrates every part of your body, your mind, and your spirit. And call upon any spiritual figures or allies that you personally feel connected to at this time and ask for help and for support on your inner work now. Bring your focus into your spiritual heart in the center of your chest. Your heart is a place to connect deeply within, find peace and receive guidance from above. And it's the ideal place for you to be now 
for this clearing. Become aware of your inner climate and any feelings you may be experiencing. Notice whether you might feel sad, worried, angry, anxious, guilty, or upset in any other way. Consider whether there is anyone you might have conflict with or concern about at this time. Or alternatively, consider whether there is any particular situation that has been bothering you, past or present. Now refocus and bring your attention back to the heart and simply sit and be present with whatever feelings are surfacing In order to clear them, they need to come to the surface and discover your true feelings about a person, a situation, a place. These are the feelings that are coming up to clear. Begin to breathe deeply and slowly. Take a very full, deep breath. Take multiple full, deep breaths. As you breathe in through your nose, focus on exhaling out through the mouth. Now place one hand on your belly and notice whether your belly moves in and out as you breathe. As you breathe in, let your belly rise up and expand, pushing out your hand. And as you breathe out, let your belly relax. As you continue to breathe in this deep, even rhythm, stay present with the feelings that you need to clear. Try not to analyze, justify, argue with, or control the feelings that rise up. Simply observe them Stay in your heart and breathe. Take some time now for a few minutes of silence to practice this, to heal and clear with each deep breath, releasing and clearing out energies that no longer serve energies that hold you back from moving forward, perhaps moving forward from resentment to forgiveness, from discord, from confusion to clarity. During this time, I will send remote energy healing, Reiki healing, as you heal and clear. Visualize with each exhale, releasing the energies that are no longer good for you.
at this time. Remembering that the key is neutrality to just observe these feelings that rise up. Even though it's a feeling within you, you can stay neutral toward it. Observe it, breathe, and let it naturally dissipate. Begin now to refocus back to the heart center and become aware again of the column of light surrounding and filling you. And again, any of your spiritual allies or figures that you have invited in. And consider one thing in your life that you have feelings of peace and that you are grateful for. Focus on that gratitude now for the next few moments. ready, take some time to focus just on your heart and simply allowing yourself to receive love coming into you from this beautiful light. Quietly receive the healing and know that all has been cleared. The love of source energy from the highest heaven, you absorb straight to your heart. Breathe, let go, and receive. Now that you feel lighter, you thank that beautiful light that has served you for healing. And take your soul journey to a sacred space. See yourself walking along a path in the forest. And as you walk along this path, you notice dark red crystals, garnet, surrounding you. This color represents the root chakra, the deepest area of energy that is our survival instinct, keeping us grounded to the earth and connected. As you place your feet on these garnet crystals, see that red color, that energy that's red flowing through the soles of the feet, ascending up the lower extremity, reaching the root chakra and extending all the way up to the crown and out to the extended aura of your energetic body. You thank the forest and continue walking. 
And now you come across more crystals. You place your feet and you notice carnelian is the crystal of choice here. A deep orange hue. See that color flow through the soles of the feet, ascending up the body, past the root chakra, and reaching the sacral chakra, which is the energy center of creativity, the fertility of ideas, the essence of who you are in this lifetime. See that orange color continuously ascend all the way up to the crown and extend out to your aura, the farthest part of your energetic body beyond the physical, the mental, emotional, moving all the way out to your spiritual body. You thank the forest and you continue your sacred walk. And now you come across a very cheery golden yellow. This color of these crystals remind you of the sun. Citrine surrounds you. And as you place your feet on these crystals, see that beautiful yellow energy flowing through the soles of the feet, rising ascending up from the root chakra to the sacral chakra all the way up to the solar plexus bathing that area in that beautiful yellow light this chakra is all about courage the ability to manifest thoughts into reality Citrine is also known as the merchant's stone for it brings success in business. For you personally, focusing on that energy and that crystal brings the awareness of courage, strength, and the ability to follow through on ideas turning them into a reality. You thank the forest for this gift and continue walking. And now you come across these beautiful stones that are magical. They look like the forest, emerald green. See that green energy flow from the soles of the feet, ascending up from the root to the sacral chakra, to the solar plexus, and now reaching the heart center, bathing that energy all the way to all parts of your heart and ascending up to the crown and expanding out to the aura beyond your physical body. You thank the forest and continue walking. And now you discover royal blue stones. Place your feet on these stones. Lapis lazuli is the name of these stones. A very rich, deep blue see that blue enter from the soles of the feet ascending up the chakra levels from the root to the sacral chakra solar plexus heart chakra and encircling the throat this blue color represents your throat chakra see that energy bathing your throat chakra which is the center of communication physical communication with your voice, but also the ability to communicate intuitively. You 
thank the forest as this blue light expands to your aura and it is fully integrated physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You are able to communicate. You continue your walk and you discover purple amethyst surrounding you. Place your feet on the amethyst crystals. See that energy flow through all the chakras, beyond the throat, and reaching your third eye, the center of your intuition. See that purple amethyst color expand beyond the crown and fully integrate into your aura. You have the gift of intuition, the guidance directly from source energy. Thanking the forest, you continue the walk. You now discover that you have reached the edge of the forest. And as you step out of the forest, through a clearing, you discover pure white, clear crystal quartz. And the light is shining upon this clear crystal quartz. The light of the sun. This is the highest vibrational energy. Crystal quartz generates the highest vibrational energy. It is used in computer chips. So you are an energetic being filled with molecules. This is the place to fully heal and integrate all the energy that is good for you. So you lay down here on the bed of crystals, clear crystal quartz, and allow the sun to shine upon you. And just as the sun clears out the energies of the crystals, the sun fully clears out any remaining energies that no longer serve for your highest good. The light of the sun moves up from the toes to the feet, to the ankles and legs, knees and thighs, hips and sacrum, abdomen, lower back, chest, shoulders, arms, forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. The warmth of the sun relaxes the neck muscles, face, and finally the scalp. And as the heat of the sun is released from all aspects physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. You are left at peace. The body remains relaxed. The breath is calm. The mind is clear. Your soul uplifted. Staying in your sacred space. Enjoy the peace and serenity.
are ready, it is time to come back to the present moment. Thank your guides. Thank yourself for coming to this mat today, reconnecting with your soul and finding peace and clarity. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Stretch the arms and the legs. Yawn if you need to. And either turn to the left or to the right, whatever works for you. As I pull an Angel Oracle card by Kyle Gray, the Angel Guide Oracle Guidebook. And let's see what the message is for today. Hopefully it will resonate with you, with someone out there. All right, the card I pulled is Signs and Reminders. And you see a feather, you see birds and butterflies, a rainbow, and you see it coming from the earth and then reaching the universe. So that's the image. So now I'm gonna read the deeper meaning. Look at that, I opened right to the book. Exactly that page. Signs and reminders. Angels and loved ones in heaven are sending you signs of their presence now. You may be seeing the same number patterns or sequences, perhaps finding feathers, or seeing the same birds at special times, or even feeling that you are being visited by a loved one or an angel in your dreams at some point in your day. These are all messages of support. You are on the right path and you are being guided to know that you do not walk this path alone. In times of need, angels are beside you, blessing your heart with love and healing. And your angels and loved ones in heaven will never leave you. Their love will never die. So with that, we complete our session. I hope you enjoyed this guided meditation. And I hope to see you all next week again. Take care. Bye.